In this video, we'll be discussing what is the best database to be used for Power Apps. We'll be discussing the top four Microsoft products that can be used as a database for your Canvas Power App. So let's jump into it. Canvas Power Apps are modeled around their database. So whether it's an app that you're creating, which is um, going to surface information to an end user via a mobile app or whether you're submitting data via a form into a database you need to be thinking about your overall kind of data model for your database before you get started building your application um, and then that will also help form uh, when you're thinking about the amount of data that you require um, that will help you make the decision on which database you want to choose there are other factors as well as we go through things like cost and time to set up uh, and the amount of users that will be using the uh, overall app will help you make that decision as well so the first option we've got is excel now we all know this isn't a database but it can be used to store your data it's perfect for small uh, canvas power apps which may be using a very small team of say up to 10 people where you're only going to be storing a hundreds of rows of data or low thousands now this is perfect because it is included in all of these sort of typical office 365 licenses so you're not going to run into any additional costs and it's also very quick and easy to set up you can host the excel file in your onedrive if you needed to um, and that's where you can store your data so you can get started very quickly the next option is Microsoft Lists. Now, anyone who's used SharePoint before in Office 365 will have seen SharePoint Lists. And this is perfect for storing hundreds of thousands of sort of rows of data. Uh, technically, it's a non-relation uh, ship sort of based um, sort of database. It's not really a database at all, but you can have lookups. So let's say, for example, we had a list of contacts. We could also have a list of, say, uh, companies. And in the contacts list, we could have a column which looks up that company's list and pulls out uh, a specific company and brings that into the item. Now, this is, again, included in most of the licenses within Office 365 that you're organization will probably already have so there's no additional costs which are incurred um, it's also quite scalable so you can have it as a small team and if you needed to then roll out um, to the wider organization um, it's scalable in that kind of sense and this is why we typically see most small and medium-sized businesses using these lists as the sort of database to store uh, data for your canvas power app now the next step up from that would be a SQL database now this is perfect for storing millions of bits of data. It is a relationship based kind of database. And um, it, it means then you can have quite a sort of intricate kind of relationships between the tables which are uh, within there. However, it will require a premium power up license. So um, if, if it's not only the, the sort of person who's developing this app, but also the users, if they're trying to access the data in live time, they will need to um, have a premium license uh, to access that. Now, if your company's already using SQL, so let's say, for example, you've got a big database of sort of um, invoices or something like that, which also you're storing the information inside of SQL, and you want a Canvas Power App, which is going to surface that information to somebody on a tablet or a mobile phone, then again, you're, you're using your Canvas Power App to connect to it. You will need a premium license. Um, if you're looking to start a brand new application, I wouldn't advise setting up a SQL database because, it, again, it's quite costly um, and also you've got to maintain the kind of server. The, the option I would recommend in that scenario would be to actually use Dataverse, which has changed its name in November of 2020 to, um, from Common Data Service to Dataverse. Now, this, again, uh, is a relational database, so you can have those intricate kind of relationships between the table. Um, it is the only option for if you're creating a model driven app or a power app portal uh, it will automatically use that uh, dataverse as its database um, if you're using dynamics 365 as well it is using the exact same kind of data there so if you're already using that to manage your kind of customers contact databases things like that all that data already lives there you will require a premium power up license to inter interact with that data however overall it's a lot cheaper and easier to set this up I hope you enjoyed that video. If you need help, we do offer professional services, including bespoke development, pre-built solutions, training packages, and a pay-as-you-go support service which bridges those knowledge gaps within your existing team. We offer a free consultation with a no-obligation quotation. If this all sounds good, drop us an email, ask for Dougie, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.